It's a new year and that means that there's a lot of new state laws going into effect and some of them seem perfectly reasonable or even great. California, Illinois and Colorado have new red flag laws designed to limit gun violence. California is also, by the way, gonna be protecting people who fail drug tests from being fired by their jobs, particularly if they're remote workers, that's cool. Illinois is banning book bans, so getting out in front of localities banning books simply because they were written by a member of the LGBTQ community or a person of color. New York is cracking down on puppy mills following many other states that have done that. Here's an interesting one, Georgia, Indiana, Minnesota and West Virginia have new financial literacy courses for high school students. Thank God, that's cool. Probably not a bad idea, but there is one law that stood out to me and we'll be discussing it in the damage report court. So this is a California bill that is going to require that toy stores have gender neutral sections. And we just wanted to have a reasonable conversation about this before it became the only thing that Fox News talked about for four solid days. So here's basically what the bill is going to do. It would require that retail department stores that are in California and that have, they're large, they have 500 employees. Um, uh, maintain a gender neutral section or area to be labeled at the discretion of the retailer in which a reasonable selection of the items and toys for children that it sells shall be displayed. Regardless of whether they have been traditionally marketed by either girls or boys and there's uh, penalties, financial penalties if you violate this. Now to be very clear, this does not say that the entire toy section needs to be gender neutral. They're not banning having a section for boys or for girls or whatever. They're simply saying that you also have to have a gender neutral section. And I wanted to talk about this with you, Francesca, because obviously you have a young child. A and child. so I wondered what you think about this. Is this like is this something that like you should have legislation to push for? What do you think? Well, I just want to back up because to me, the biggest issue around toy stores is that um they don't exist. So let's start <laughs> there. Um, especially think about retailers with 500 or more employees. So you're just talking about Target. You're mm. basically just talking about Target. I think that's about it. Some department stores, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, they may have some toys, but there's no mm. section for toys. But Toys R Us no longer exists. Um, other toy stores, like they're mostly either, if you're lucky enough to have a local toy store in your neighborhood, um, a lot of them have gone under. Uh, yeah. That's about it, but they're certainly not 500 person uh, uh, stores, they're a lot smaller than that. So that's just number one. I again, like take aim at what the hell happened to toy stores. I miss them. I mean, yes, I love a Target. Let me tell you, I love a Target, love being able to get, do a bunch of shopping, but it's not a toy store and it's not like a thing to go to. That being said, I think it is nice when you have toys that are mixed up. Like it's nice that there isn't just this like row of pink and dolls and then row of like, you know, um, trucks and balls and things like that. And honestly, a lot of the things that should be more gender neutral, in my opinion, are the more physical activities. Again, mm -hmm. balls and bats and different games and things like that, um, I think tend to be like sold more as boys toys and um I don't like that. I guess same goes with dolls, you know? Um yeah. so I like the idea, but I have a general more general critique. I'm not sure we need a law and I'm very not looking forward to the fake outrage that is going to come from this. Yeah, yeah, I want to be very clear. I I might judge this. I'm not going to freak out about it. I don't think it's going to have a huge impact. We have people in the chat talking about like the loss of like Toys R Us and KB Toys. One person said that they worked at uh, Toys R Us and the vast majority of the aisles at that point were gender neutral, which I, I vaguely remember that that's probably true. I also mourn the loss of those stores as a kid. I used to love going to them. In hindsight, it kind of seems a little bit weird that you'd have an entire big store for one very specific type of product. But they were very fun. I have to assume that it's a lot Target taking over, and people are saying, you know, Walmart too. Obviously, sells a lot of toys. So people oh, are saying Kohl's, right. things like that. But you said department stores, is basically what you meant. Well, Michaels um, exists, and that's just for crafts. They're not sure. going under. Yeah, that's true. I was actually at one yesterday. Um, but then I think also like Amazon and other online retailers are taking it over, and I think a lot of kids are probably replacing toys that they'd get in the later years of their 
being kids with like video games and digital stuff. But that said, we're focused on this. I also think it is super weird that we enforce the gender on toys. Like kids like toys. They'd play with almost anything. Like you, your your daughter likes playing with trucks, right? Like, yeah. And like well, it doesn't have to be a pink truck. She could just play with it and have fun with it. Um, so that, but I am worried that Fox is going to lose their minds over this and say that this is wokeness run afoul. I would say I wish that it did not require a law. I don't know why stores wouldn't just do this. I guess there are some aisles that are kind of gender neutral, like Lego, I think is generally kind of gender neutral. So anyway, I will say that I don't, this seems too specific for me. So I'm going to rule that California is in the wrong. I don't think that there should be a massive penalty. I don't think that California should be locked up for 30 years. But I do think that this is a thing that should be more driven by just the capitalist impulse to make as much money as possible selling toys to everyone. But but how do you roll? But what? Oh yeah. Is California guilty or not guilty for setting this up? Oh, guilty or not guilty? Mm-hmm. I don't think they're guilty. Oh, okay. I I thought from your commentary that you were. So you you accept the law. Okay. Well, I accept case- the law because, but I mean, unless it's gonna, if we're gonna imprison Gavin Newsom, then do it. Because he can't go anywhere <laughs> until he gives us universal health care in this state and high speed mm-hmm. rails, buddy. Gavin, Gavi, mm-hmm. Gav, if you're listening, that's what we want. Okay. Well, uh, in any event, with our split decision, we go to the audience, and the audience has voted 60% say this they are guilty in California of government overreach. I think it's very reasonable. There was a bit of a split um, in the audience as well, but thank you for that. Uh, I like it. And I have every intent to give my daughter all sorts of different toys. It just seems like it's getting too into the nitty gritty of how you set up your aisles and stuff. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.